Welcome back to The Average Drinker. I'm Dara, I'm your average drinker, and boy, do I have a review for you today, or girl, but I mean, boy, I'm excited for this review because this is a great bottle, I'll tell you that right off the bat, and this is a whiskey that I'm just gonna go ahead and put it out there right now. I highly recommend this whiskey, and here's why. So first of all, this is the Red Brex, Red Breast, wow, Red Breast. Red Breast, Red Breast, Red Breast PX Edition, the Pedro Jimenez Edition. This one comes in at 92 proof, and it is absolutely freaking delicious. So I'm gonna go ahead and dive into this review because I love this bottle so much, and I can't, I mean, the more I smell it, the more I taste it, the longer I sit with it, the more I like it. You know, sometimes bottles aren't like that. And sometimes when you open the bottle, it takes time to air out before it actually tastes good. But for me, this one was literally delicious from Cork Bop, two dram or two Glen, I guess you would call it. It is a dram of whiskey, but this is a Glen and I poured it in here. Yeah, anyhow, wow, I get sidetracked sometimes. I just had a squirrel moment. It was like squirrel, squirrel, squirrel. Okay, focus. So this one is absolutely delicious. On the nose, let's get into this review. So like I said, this comes in at 92 proof. So it's a super, it's not super high proof. It's a nice low proof. And it's one you can just drink all day long if you want, I guess, responsibly, of course. But on the nose on this one, it is just one of the best noses I've ever smelt, smelled. You get cranberries, dark plums, like dark fruits some orange zesty like spiciness, like a spice. And honestly, this one really reminds me of like a mold, mold, not mold, not like the stuff that gets on your bread, but like mold spiced wine or sangria on the nose. That sangria that you would put like an orange, a cinnamon stick, maybe um, cranberries even. You could toss an apple in there. That's everything that I'm getting on the nose of this one. And it's absolutely, it just smells so good. Like I just, you get that sherry influence. It just, I wanna just keep smelling this because it smells incredible. And it's super thick. Like it smells almost like it would be like a thick syrup. And it has a lot of legs on it. When you look at it, they are barely going down the glass. It just kind of hangs onto the glass. All right, let's take a sip of this because I can already tell you it is going to be delicious because I keep drinking it and Bill keeps drinking it and our friends that come over, we keep sharing it. So it's good. Needless, needless to say, we already bought a backup bottle of this and we already hand delivered one to a friend. So, mm. ah. oh, wow. Wow. So this one is actually even, it's so balanced on the nose, so much flavor, like full of flavor and on the palate, even more balanced, but it's also very rich. Like it's rich and thick, like syrupy like, but not in like a bad syrupy likeness, I guess you would say. Not like um not like a thick maple syrup. But it does actually taste like a little bit of maple. And you do get some of that spice on it, but you get more of those dark fruit notes, like the like I talked about before. On the nose, I got that plum, the cherries, a little bit of apple, but I also get this orange creaminess and then it flows into the back of the tongue and I get this burst of like a little bit of chocolate. It's like a burst of chocolate that kind of rolls back into that orangey creamy chocolatiness that has this perfect pow of spice and it just lingers and it sits on your tongue. And as I'm talking to you, I can continue to taste this. And that's why I love it so much. It has such an incredible finish. It's just one that just sits there. Got to take another swig. Mm. Oh yeah, that is so, oh, it's so good. This is probably one of the best Irish whiskeys I've ever tasted. I mean, the only thing for me that's missing just a little bit is the proof. This is a 92 proofer. It's great and it's balanced and you could sip this all day long. But for me, that spice note that comes through on the back end, if it had a little more proof behind it, so if this came in at cask strength, oh man, that would be one I would literally like, oh, I would pay like 120 plus for that. Like that is so, so good. Oh, that would be so good. This is still so good. At the proof it's at, it's just incredibly crushable, but it's so tasty. Like the, the taste just sets there. 
and I just keep chewing on it and I love it. And the, the spices and the balance of fruit, it just perfectly balanced. It's like a melodic balance of fruit and spicy and, but not like a hot spicy. I'm talking more of like a baking spice spicy, not like a cinnamon, just baking spices. So, oh, right out. I will tell you, I highly recommend this one. One of the, like I said, one of the best Irish whiskeys I've ever tasted. And I mean, I'm a huge, huge, huge fan of like Blue Spot, Red Spot. I mean, all the spots are super good. Red Breast 12 Cast Strength. Oh man, that is almost unbeatable. But this sits right up there with those for me. This is just one that it hits the spot. So, all right, now it comes down to my rating score. And on this one, I'm gonna go ahead and give this four corks out of five. The palette for me, just wanted it to be a little bit hotter and I wanted that punch on the back end. That's really the only thing lacking for me. So I knocked the score down a little bit for that and some of that flavor I think would come through with a little more punch to it. Uh, but I get tons of flavor. I mean, it's just loaded and loaded with flavor. So four out of five corks, highly recommend this one. If you like Irish whiskey, if you like finished Irish whiskey, you're definitely gonna wanna check this one out. If you can find it in your area, highly recommend it. As always, that's the end of this review. As always, thanks so much for watching The Average Drinker. I'm Dara, and I will see you next time. <laughs>